talented guys. They really are. Yeah, They're yeah. handsome gentlemen, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got this guy, Dennis, and his other guy, Chiu, and a couple other guys. A guy named Mikey? I, I think, yeah, a, a better Bernard. Uh, but, yeah, uh, if you want to know more about the Bias Lines podcast and listen to some of our current or past uh, past shows, simply go to BiasLandsPodcast.com. Where we're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Twitch. And if you're on the go, if you want to listen to us huh? on, on uh, uh, if you're in the gym or in the car, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, and a bunch of other audio platforms. But we're getting ready for match number two. two. Uh, I like that. I, I like saying that too because you know. You know those zebras in the ring two. for stripes. Two. You know I love when fans get behind the, the one. Two. It's fun. Well, well, yeah, especially when the fans get behind either either two or they go for the one fall. <laughs> now we're gonna. I don't know who's coming out first, but I know from what I'm hearing, this is a triple threat match. Um, and it looks like this is Malta, the damager. Um. With his, with his some manager, satanic looking things like I know I'm Dennis Reaver, but I don't know if I've ever it's, come out it, looking like this. I, I, I want to say manager or his follower or his or priest, something. It's like an exorcism live in person. Not really sure how to. The guy is wearing like a mask, like he was on, you know. The movie Gladiator, oh, or is that the mask from like? Oh man, I was about to drop the S bomb, but this guy is huge. Look how tall he is. Tall man. Yeah, we got referee uh, Matt Green as your official for this match. Oh, I recognize that music. It, it, it I know who be, that is. It seems to be only one person. They cut his music off. Let's try oh, to see. Let's try this go. again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have bubble gum in my mouth, you know, and it's a little foggy in here. They got a smoke machine going on, and I, I think I inhaled I, some of that smoke. Here we go. Uh, no, no, he, he changed his music. I he, think, he probably yelled at him in the back. He got the, this is click click boom. Yeah. But, yeah. So uh, the the ladies big and man, ladies Sinister and gentlemen, X. we have one, none other than. Not only an East Coast and a Northern wrestling superstar, we have a gentleman that's been all over the country. We have Sinister X hopping in the ring. This is two big men. I I, I just seen them not too long ago, uh, and and he was in a cage match, and oh my God, he just tore it down with his opponent. Now, the third opponent. I know who the third gentleman is. Oh, de definitely, definitely. It's right right here, blatantly in front of us on our notes. Well, it's in front of you, not of me. I didn't have the luxury of getting the notes. You know, I got a guy throwing the this like, you know, three blind mice. Um, because as we're doing this, we're also doing the video editing live in person here. So yeah. I got, I'm doing two jobs at once. Yeah, by, uh, by any means necessary, by hook or crook, we get things done, though. We do get things done. You know, there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes, and I can't thank enough to AAW, Chio, for you hopping up in here. You know, my, the film crew and the editing crew uh, at uh, Dungeon University, Mark Met. Most definitely, most definitely. And what do we have? Pro Wrestling's newest blue chipper, Tony Batista. You know, I... I the, let, let me give you a rundown by Tony Batista. He was starting the train down in Texas, right, with Rudy Gonzalez. Yes. But before that, he was also a former mil U.S. military member. So, Tony, I want to thank you for your service in this beautiful country. Um, but Rudy Gonzalez is a legendary trainer, you know. Oh, yeah, most definitely. School originally was the Shawn Michaels wrestling school. So he's being, he was being trained by, without a doubt, the legends of professional wrestling down in Texas. You know, now he's up in Jersey. He's being trained by Super Crazy, um, O Dog, and the list goes on. But this is three giant looking guys, like six foot tall guys ready to smash each other. Ooh. 
Well, Tony, I'm sorry, man, but it looks like the odds are against you looks tonight. Like, looks like uh, Malta and Sinister X uh, decide to, uh, you know what, let's take out this uh this The Greenhorn. Young, yeah. In their eyes, he's a Greenhorn, but in my eyes, I don't think Tony's in the Greenhorn because he's going up against bigger and badder guys than this. He's been held, held, uh, holding championships all over Ooh. as of late. That was a mean sidewalk slam. It's, but it's kind of funny there, you know, uh, Malta went for the pin, and, and Sinister X just stood there watching him when it's every man for himself. Ooh. But right now, they, they are drop. working together. I, I guess, don't think Sinister realized, hold on, what are you doing yeah, that pin for? Yeah. Hammering away with those closed fists, those forearm shots, too. It's a combo. It's like brushing right on by with the fist into the forearm. And, but... You know, I think if they just take out Batista and then it could leave it up to them to just to go one on one and maybe we'll have a decisive winner because anything could happen. It, anything Dorney, ha Whoa, that was a mean punch to the forehead. Caught, that, caught him high. Didn't get the full effect, no. but, but enough to send him crashing down to the mat. Definitely did. You know, man, there's some low forearms to that back. You know, anybody in wrestling knows anything that happens to your back is very, you know, detrimental um, to you in this ring. And if you notice, Sinister X is just uh, directing traffic. He's just standing back, letting him do all the dirty work. And that's what's going to happen. He's going to let him do the work and he's going to capitalize. Ooh, and then Batista but, coming back, giving a line. But not paying attention. Batista just firing back away. That blood is boiling. Kick downstairs. Are we going to uh, get a double... Oh, I thought we were going to get a double head noggin. <laughs> Man. Oh, and then Batista threw Sinister in the Molta. Molta fell out of the ring. Not under the ring, over the top, but through the ring. Yes. Now we have a match. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if Sinister can keep up with this young gentleman, Tony Batista, tonight. It didn't, it didn't quite Ooh, work out. And Tony Batista's head got taken off by Sinister X right there. Didn't quite out, didn't quite work out for Batista there. You know when he went to whip him in, you know the strength and power of uh, of uh, uh, Sinister X reversed it, and now we see Malta back in here uh, after he got his uh, cobwebs uh, rocked yeah. to the outside, and now he got himself back together, comes yes. back in, and now once again they're teaming up again to take on Batista. Batista's flying away, trying to come back here because. He's taking the blunt of the Ooh, trauma. He, he, that was a mean. He just, he just gave him a shot from hell to Molta's face, and Molta did not go down still. Oh, we got a double leg choke. They're both choking him right now on the ropes. Matt, referee Matt Green needs to be doing his job. I didn't hear that this was a no DQ match, so I know choking is still illegal in this match. Oh, yeah. Correct. Yes. With the with the size advantage going to Malta and X, you know, Batista has his hands full right now. And I don't, I he honestly does. don't see Batista coming out. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go to size advantage. I'm going to have to go with Malta on this one here. You know what? I, I, I see where you're going with that. He's, he, he's a huge guy. I'm like, don't get me wrong. Sinister X is, a, is another huge guy, but Malta also seems a little bit younger than X though. He does, he does, but I honestly, I'm gonna have to stick with Sinister. I've known him a long time, and when the odds, odds are stacked against him, he still pulls out the victories. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna say Sinister X might pull this out. The underdog of the story is Tony Batista. Yes, if he can pull yes. Pull this out. That's gonna be a huge win on his resume tonight. Most definitely, most definitely. And, oh, and there goes Mol There goes Tony Batista because Molta said, "No, I don't want you." He wants to go one on one with the, the Sinister one himself. Look at these two big Brahma bulls just slugging away these giant sledgehammers. X with the advantage. Backs him up because he shoots him off. Oh, I'm not Malta even... come off with a, a, a shoulder tackle of his own. I'm not sure if it was a shoulder tackle and a headbutt or is it a mix of both. It was very weird looking, but it, it did the job. It took Sinister X down. We're working on Kick that this. left arm. He just gave him a kick to the sternum. Ooh. S Savat kick right to the uh, jaw. Sends him down, going for the pin, hooks the legs. Batista breaks it up. Thank you, Batista, for breaking that up. I don't want to see Molta win. I'm sorry. 
I just think the guy look he's a little lazy in the ring, it looks like. It looks like he's out of shape, he's out of breath. You know, it looks like he just needs to really get on top of this and uh, do his job. Remember, they always say, don't ever judge a book by its cover, though. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, you shouldn't, but I'm going to judge one here. Like, like, like where people think that's your weakness, you got to use it to your advantage when it's actually your strength. Absolutely. Sometimes you can use your weakness to your advantage, but I just, I just don't think Malta brought his A game today. You know, and he ha he's not a bad wrestler. He's a very good all-around professional wrestler. I just think he's being outclassed today by two superstar wrestlers. That that adrenaline flowing through Batista a little too much. Yeah. Took, took too much time psyching himself up, and he just ate a big boot from Malta. Not just one big boot, a double big boot. Up, and there we are with more choking to the throat. Matt Green still not counting the one. Just you know, holding on to the ropes, Ooh, extending the leg. Oh, and he capitalizes with a kick downstairs into the breadbasket. I saw it coming because, you know, Malta kicked Sinister X in the face really hard in the nose. And if anybody knows Sinister X in this business or been in this chair, Sinister X don't play that game. Nah, you don't. That's one guy you definitely don't want to piss off. Listen, I've seen Sinister X leave a show because someone, someone tried to hurt his family. And I've never seen a man so scary in my life until that moment. Here we go. Batista shooting Molta off the ropes. Up, oh, Molta style gave him a kit to the sternum again. Up, oh, I don't know what we just saw, but that was a modified spine buster. It looked like Molta was going to go for like a discus punch or something. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, Batista caught him off guard. Up. Oh. Brings him back in. Oh, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. Dropped him on the back of his neck there. He may not be able to move or kick out. Wait, no. Oh. Okay, he seems to be all right. Oh, and Malta's follower just manager. takes it. Oh, what a spinning Maybe back that's kick. what he was going for instead of a discus punch. He was going for a discus kick. Oh, and there's the spirit of Malta by Sinister X. That, that I think, has just delivered the final blow to the match. I think he, Sinister X is going to take yeah, he's still, right he, now. He's still feeling the effects of being dropped on his head by Batista. Has Malta up. That's slams it. him with that a power slam. One, hooks the leg. Two, three. There it is. Thank you very much. I, you know what? I got one right. Hey. I think you're what? Two for two right now? Because you went. Because you pick. Uh, I picked Loparco. Yeah. Well, I picked Loparco too. So I'm two for two. So I'm, I'm one. You're I'm one for one. one. All right. Finally, I'm beating you in something. I but I'm still, you know, I feel I want I feel bad for Tony Batista. He had to he could have had this match won, but somehow, for some reason, the manager outside of ring wanted to get involved and didn't get thrown out. You know, and there's uh, a lot got of some, things got, that didn't got work. Some jaw jacking. Referee Matt Green trying to uh, make sure there's order, which I, the match is over. He should just get the hell out of the way before where he gets smashed. Oh, Malta went downstairs. What goes up must, must come go down. down. Wow, Malta just choke slammed Sinister X for what reason? Because he didn't win really the match, that's why. You're well, I get off. that, but like, man, it's your manager's fault you lost. Even though, even though Sinister X was victorious, Malta was the last man standing tonight here in Atlantic All-Star Wrestling. Yes, he was. We cannot thank uh, the people here at, Fearless, at the Fearless Hills Elks Lodge for letting AAW bring this live professional wrestling action to all the great fans here in Mooresville, Pennsylvania. Uh, since Sinister X is, yeah, he definitely pissed off. But he's still going to get his recognition. Yeah, absolutely. You know, recognition is something you, you don't just earn. You, it's deserved. You know, and Sinister X does deserve everything that comes his way in good fortunes. Um, tonight, he, his, his good fortunes walked out with a victory in the debut show of AAW.